What is up guys? So I still have a few bottle rockets left over from the 4th of July. So in this project, we're going to be making a double barreled bottle rocket shotgun. All right, so what I'm thinking for this project is I'm going to use some pieces of PVC for the barrel. Uh, hopefully they won't get too burned up, but if I design it right, it should definitely hold up for quite a few shots. So as you can see, these bottle rockets fit pretty well right down the barrel. Uh, it's a pretty loose fit, but at the same time, it's not just a gaping hole. And then for the ignition system, I'm going to be using these two uh, jet lighters. Uh, they're pretty cool. They work pretty well. Um, they're not very expensive either, so uh, I'll link them in the description if you guys want to go check them out. So yeah, I'm going to try to use these to fire the bottle rockets. Um, so hopefully I can hook these up in a way so that the rockets, whenever they launch, won't damage them. So I think that's going to be the challenge. But first, before we do any work with actually firing this, we have to figure out how I'm going to load it. Um, so what I'm thinking is actually having a breech uh, right about here. Um, so I'm going to cut a hole and use this bigger piece of PVC to hopefully create like a sliding breech. If you want these things to shoot straight, you kind of have to leave the, um, the wooden tail on. So what I'm going to do, because you don't really need like a lot of propulsion, so you don't technically need this whole giant tube um, to launch this far. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically have the breech right here and then you'll load in the rocket like this. So it'll be slide in there and sit right here. And then I'm going to have the fuse stick out just a tiny bit. Um, I'm going to bend it down so it's very short so it'll still go off like within less than a second when you pull the trigger. And um, I'm going to have it stick out a tiny bit and I'm going to embed this lighter right about right here. Um, but it's going to be in the tube a little bit and I'm going to protect it and shield it obviously with like some metal or something. And then, um, so the trigger I guess will be up here for both barrels. And um, you'll just pull the trigger and it'll go off. But if we go ahead and load it in and we put on the lighter just like this, you can see there's actually quite a bit of space um, between where the lighter would light the fuse and the actual rocket. So I'm assuming that would take at least a second for that to burn, um, but I want it to be more instantaneous than that. So I'm going to try and cut down a little bit more of this and embed the lighter a little bit more and um, hopefully add some sort of shield. All right guys, so here's how it's gonna look. I cut out this second notch right behind the first and also this piece of metal. Basically this curved piece will sit right in here and um, basically this will protect the lighter from the um, flames from the rocket and the lighter will sit right on top like this. Kind of down in there. All right, so I just got this mounted in. So you can see the lighter just sits in there right like that. But next I wanna work on the breaching chamber. So what I'm gonna do is use this slightly larger piece of PVC, uh, cut out a small bit right here, uh, just enough to slide over this and cover the rocket. Um, it'll probably go to about here so the fuse can still stick out and the lighter can still burn it. And then this will just slide open. I can load another one in and close it up. And yeah, it'll be like a shotgun. All right guys, so I made the breech cover and I also added a few more things. Um, so I made this just out of a bigger piece of PVC and I cut this slit here for two reasons. One, because it wouldn't fit otherwise and two, so I could add this kind of a guidance rod right here, um, which I just glued on. Um, so this slides down here, fits pretty well. It doesn't shake around, but um, it stays in place and it's not too hard to slide. Um, and then second, I added this metal piece right here and that's so when the lighter sits um, in this little slot uh, and I turn it on to light the fuse, it won't just completely obliterate the PVC. Um, so yeah, so yeah, if I grab a bottle rocket, uh, I can load it in just by going like this. 
slide it down in like that and then close the chamber. And I have this little groove cutout right here that the fuse just sits in. And that's to both hold the uh, bottle rocket in place and the fuse in place. And then once I hook up this lighter, it'll just sit right in there. It'll just sit right in there like that. And we'll pull the trigger for the lighter, it'll light the fuse, uh, travel down a very short distance and light off the rocket. All right, and since this is a double barreled shotgun, I had to make two barrels. So I basically just did the same thing I did in the first barrel over on the second one and I connected the two breaching covers. So it just slides over like this. And um, I just wrapped this for a grip uh, with a little bit of tape and I'm probably gonna do the same thing to the handle. Um, so yeah, now all I have to do is just mount on the lighters and then we can go test this out. So to load it, all we have to do is pull back on the breaching cover load in the rockets and pull up the fuses a little bit, then close it up and we're good to go. As you can see, the sparks also shoot out the tail of the gun. Um, this is because I didn't want to completely destroy the PVC, so I just left the back open. When you shoot the gun, the back's not faced at anything, so there's not too much danger of hitting you. Um, but I might close this up and use metal piping if I ever go back to this project. Anyway guys, I really hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cool projects. Um, so that's about all I've got for today guys, so I will catch you in the next video.